I started the Landman Foundation because I'm a neurosurgeon that's been doing spine surgery 25 years. And most of the research that's done in the academic world is, is very narrow. It, it, it's always reanalyzing the same situations over and over. And I want to think more out of the box and a little more holistically into how other things affect healing and health for the spine, whether that be nutrition, hormone management, supplementation, stem cell issues, and how are these really helping patients? Artificial disc replacements used in off-label manners, things that provide mobility, motion, and functionality. And I wanna to validate to see what treatments are more effective. And even simple things like some vitamins that are very helpful with bone health and healing. The research that I've seen over the last 25 years, the scope is rather narrow and it tends to re-examine old techniques over and over again. There are so many other things that I think need to be discussed, analyzed, and validated. We need to find out, are, are, are these other treatments that are out there today, are, are they real and are they effective? And if they are, let's prove it. There is a lot of successful surgeries being done and a lot of successful spinal treatments being done, but a lot of the patients are not really seeing that the traditional medicine embraces other types of treatments, whether that's holistic, is it supplements, is it hormones, is it stem cells, can I keep you away from surgery with exercise, nutrition changes, vitamins, what things can be done to avoid surgery. And if you need surgery, how do I help you heal better and faster? We wanna obtain evidential proof that these techniques are better. What I've seen particularly that I think is a very exciting area, because it actually pertains to my health, artificial disc replacement and motion preservation surgery. We're, we're living much longer now, and how do we keep people functional, active, and mobile? I wanna do studies through the foundation to find out if these patients do better than the traditional old fusions, which cost people motion, reduces their activity, puts them on the couch. Veterans Administration, the VA hospital system, is lacking in its treatment of our veterans. They've had our backs for our lifetime and beyond. And it's time that we have their backs. And I don't see state-of-the-art, out-of-the-box thinking for vets. They're usually younger guys. And so I really want to focus in the foundation on treating Navy SEALs, Special Forces, Green Beret, Rangers, and we start with those groups. A lot of those guys have high intense combat training, they have high altitude jumps, they have a lot of fractures and injuries to their spines, and they're all treated with boxes of pills for pain or spinal fusions. Well, you don't want to fuse this 32-year-old man who's been in the military 10 years. You want to preserve motion. So we really want to provide and give back to them what they need so they can live active and functional lives with their families.